Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Caro. You're going to love Forley. The cannons in Architadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband's before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> We discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look! Oh no! Oh, Jesus to get caught in the middle! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as we left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple? Before we even knew. Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Inside! Double-crossing bastards! Is there another way into this place? Aspetta! Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you! You spite!
away this time. Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me!
The Jew is there on him! Pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico and Keiko, at your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, Signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map and a certain apple, brother. See, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Forza women are no wilting flowers. He may look pretty to the eye, but his eyes deceive. Just ask Babo. Grazie, grazie, Messere. But my brother, they're holding Ottaviano at the lighthouse. I have 
have to pee. Please, Messer, I need to go to the bathroom. Just let me go. Achoo, you won't get a... Oh, per Dio. You the il becco. Katerina was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know. The maestro gains his prize. Because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio. Per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Grazie, signore! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. I have served dukes, princes, kings. I use only the finest. Patience! This one is coming! By not sitting at night on annual rent! Isn't that Better have a look. Oh, man. You're not allowed up here! Nice 
off limits. Prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Se miseria nascono dalla vidità, requiescat in pace. Right. What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kek Orsi's dead body. See, that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... a missing finger. See? Katerina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will.
We will do it the hard way. Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure that it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black-robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! I don't want to die! I only kill those who kill others. And your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us. For a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it?
If Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent, we'd still have some place to call home. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. Another pain. Don't understand why they are so willing to accept his oppression. Sometimes I wish the assassino would return to Firenze, that we might be free of his tyranny. Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's enthralled, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. This way.
direct assault would be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? See. Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear? See. Si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. We can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent. You will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors. It's quite simple, Amici. If you desire care, you'll submit yourself fully to our new ruler. is yours as well. Continue to support the Medici who, as you know, have long since fled Firenze. Or accept Savonarola. Why fight him? Why refuse? He is a good man, strong of character and morals. He seeks to save us from... You have spilled the blood of a healer. No, I've spilled the blood of a tyrant. To command such power over the body, between this world and the next, it seems I grew intoxicated. And now you grow still. La tua morte non sarà inutile. Requiescat in pace. Oh. 